Today I want to take a look at one of the first programs I ever used as a kid before I could even read. We're talking like three years old. Two, two years old maybe? Yeah, I was very young. Deluxe Paint. Uh, I used Deluxe Paint 2, I believe, back in the day, but Deluxe Paint 4. And uh, well, there's, it presents you with an option screen for several different modes. And got an NTSC mode, 320 by 200, 640 by 200, 640 by 400. High res modes. You got the PAL mode, which has extra resolution, 320 by 256. So that's why and today I'm going to use the PAL mode. Show some. I've been uh, talking about the NTSC. I've been talking about NTSC and how everybody fucks it up online when they do gameplay of NTSC games. But because of this extra resolution, we're going to show off some PAL stuff for a change. And you have you know, your pallets you can choose from. There's no reason not to go for the uh, number <laughs> for the half bright mode, 64 colors. You can also do ham mode. You can go to high resolution, but you can only have 16 colors in high resolution. I'm going to try to show off some of these ones. We're going to start off in 64 color low resolution PAL mode. Start you off with a very nice black background, which I really like. Most paint programs now like start you off with a white background. I like the black background. We are presented with a plethora of uh, choices here, as well as options up here. Deluxe paint can get kind of complicated, but it's always it's always been rather simple in terms of powerful uh, paint programs, and it still is a very powerful tool today. Now, I am not an artist by any means. Now, I'm not a great artist. I do artistic things in other ways, like photography or music. Never been great with the hands. Hi, YouTube. Never been good with it. So... And it's, it's confounded by the fact that you're dealing with a mouse. It's not as good as your actual hand. But, uh, the, nevertheless, you can be artistic in Deluxe Paint. There are th lots of things you can do with this. I like to use the spray mode here. And pick a color, and then you can do it this way. Let's, uh, pick this color here. No, 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 no. Just lighter blue. Much more neat there. Hi, YouTube. Let's uh, put some sprinkles all over it. Sprinkles! Have some fun with the colors. Now you get 32 colors you get to choose from. and This is the default, obviously. And of those 32 colors, it will... Uh, the, the Amiga has the ability to take half the brightness off of them and give you an extra 32 which is why this color here is half as bright as this color this green over here half as bright as that green and that's usually but the the default palette does not give you that many options I mean it's it's nice it's nice but for example you don't have any oranges here there's no orange yeah there's there's definitely colors that's missing that you'd like to have or you might just want a hell of a lot more blues than what it has or reds Maybe you don't like green. You don't want any greens. You don't want any of this, you know, Scion DOS crap there. Although it, for sprinkles, that does it. I like. I like. The, I like it for sprinkles. <laughs> Let's just clear the screen. There's lots of different things. We'll take you through some of them. Here's the dot mode. Yeah, it's it's fun to mess around with. Just have some fun, just drawing. This is a, it's a nice stress reliever. This is the uh, normal paint mode, just lines, pure lines. This is straight lines, so make your own diagonals and things. Change some colors. You always hit the right button to do more of a, a black background. I don't think you can actually choose the second color on this one. No, you can. You can. If you right-click, you can choose the second color. So right now I'm right-clicking, so I have that red that I chose. Or if I left-click, I have the green. 
So keep that in mind. So you have two options at your uh, control at any given moment by a simple click. Now this, yeah, first you click it and then you uh, d decide where you want it to go. Yeah, decide how long it wants to be, and then do the shape. Ooh, ooh very nice right there. I like that. I like that. Oof. Of course, with that, the clear goes there. Any case. So, we have the fill tool. Go all blue. Fill tool. Most of these can be right clicked, and you have more options here. Now, we can perform a dither. Let's, let's go to pattern. We'll do pattern. Do some dithering. Hey, okay. We'll go like that. Oh, damn, I didn't do it right. Fine. There we go. Now we click which way we want the want the fill to go. Let's, let's go to the right. And it should create some solid gradients for you. That's not how I wanted it to work, but uh, well, it's going to do it. And it takes some processing time to do this, but it does actually come out looking fantastic. The dithering looks fantastic when it does this. Keep in mind, you have more space than what it shows you by pressing the arrow button up and to the right. You see, there's still black. It didn't fill in all this information here. This is the extra... Because of the uh, menu systems, you don't get to see everything, so... You have to keep that in mind, otherwise you're going to get a picture that doesn't look completely right to you. We're going to clear this off the screen. We're going to try some other options. We have squares. What's that for? Oh, I can even make the gradient for the square. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I didn't know I could do that. It's actually very useful. It would be much more useful if I could get it just to do, like, one color. But <laughs> uh, In order to get off of that, I think we click... Yeah, we just click on one of these. And these are the size buttons, by the way. So in our dot mode, we can just keep going. It's a square. I think it's a sprinkle. Sprinkles. More sprinkles. Lots of sprinkles. Sprinkles are good. Ooh, I like it. I like the way that one works. The line looks very nice on that one. Some white. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. None of this is artistic, I understand, but <laughs> I have limited artistic ability. Drawing wise. I have great ideas, though, for things. So. Maybe we can do something. Maybe we can make one good little something for you. Uh, so we got that. We got circles. We can do circles. If you want it to fill, I think you can, can you right-click and have it fill it uh, solid. Right. Yes. So there we have a solid. that one do? It's another circle one. Hmm. This one lets you connect point to point. And these are all very useful tools to have in a paint program. This this is a snowflake kind of thing, I think. Yeah, well, it's, it's very psychedelic here. <laughs> it's very 60s. Oh, I can't take it. <laughs> Unclick that. I don't want. That. I don't want that one anymore. <laughs> See, if you want to change the palette, right click. Right, yeah, right click on the palette up, up there, and then it'll present you with your 32 colors up here. Press down, it will present you with the half bright colors. And these ones you can't actually mess with. You can do it, but it won't actually change the colors at all. You can only mess with the uh, first 32 colors. Say, all I, I just want a bunch of blues, so... Yeah, remember, like, the first couple colors are, you know, the menus and stuff, so... Keep that in mind if you're fucking with it. Which is, you know, I, I'm gonna keep the black one okay, but, uh... The rest of them we're gonna change around a little. 
We're gonna do lots of blues. Every everyone's we're gonna have a lot of bright blues. Uh, yeah, just keep keep the blues here. This, this can be quite time consuming though, that's the only problem. Gonna get some more light blues, but we're gonna do it a different way. We're gonna put some green in there. So we got a whole load of brighter blues, which will automatically go, and we got some darker ones too, so. Now I'm gonna go for some reds. What else can we put in the red category? There's there's some orange for you. So, I mean, there is no orange. Let's put an orange in there. Let's some more red. Can we put a little blue in there? What is that going to do? A little, it's, uh, okay. So we changed our palette a little bit. Got a lot more blues in there. Some more reds. So we can do a few uh, color changes here. Do some fills. Just go different colors here. And I used to do this a lot as a kid. Is play with the lines, fill them. Just go darker and darker and darker. And just I made my own gradients is what I did as a kid. So now we got some very dark stuff over here. And then you can have some, you know, down here we have some blues. Throw a bunch of blues down there, why not? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we do some blues there, get the blues in there. mess around with the background a little bit. <sighs> Again, this is nothing very beautiful. Not at all. But it's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to play with. It's, it's much more fun to play with than any modern paint program, quite honestly. This is still fun to this day to dick around in. I do have some artistic ability when it comes to like something. I, I do like to use the spray mode. Let's see if I can actually create anything. Of transferring a few files from the uh, modern era digital stuff which is into uh, deluxe paint. I, I, you can't really do that easily with deluxe paint. I had to use personal paint to do that. I had to transfer some stuff. I had to resize it on the PC to, you know, to get it in under 320. You know, by 256. Put it over here. So I, I get a picture of me, which this was actually from a Super 8 film. So it's actually film. And uh, as you can see, it, like, personal paint does a very good job of converting thousands of color images into 64. And right now I got it saved as an IFF. But I can't really use the ham mode of. of uh, the, personal paint does not have ham mode. Deluxe Paint has hand mode, but I don't know how tr to transfer anything. We don't have. There's no real utilities to save like modern day files into IFF into the thousands of uh, colors. I don't. Um, Photoshop might do it, but <laughs> there's not many programs that'll do it that you that, you, that are for free anyway. A little bit different image that I had having to transfer. No. And here's a disc, deluxe paint disc. Again, it looks pretty good in the 64 colors that it shows. It's not going to look as good in the other palette, so we're going to copy it. I think I want to do something different, actually. What I want to do is I want to take, I want to have me as the main background image. And I want to put other things on top of it. So what I want to do is actually load up, and this will be the main thing. And I'm going to just minus this out. It's got a little bit of translucency, doesn't it? Ooh. 
I don't want to change the colors of that. Just place this off to the side here. And I can go back into it later and you know, kind of get more of that image together. So that's one. We're going to save that. I'm going to do that as uh, me too. Save that. And if we put in some graphics, now I, <clears throat> we're going to have to change some of the palette a little bit, I think. I do want the gaming memories in review. I want how about Deluxe Paint? Which should be like the first thing we have. And I want that one to be in a spray paint, I think. I need a good blue. I want a blue. I don't have too many blues. We might have to compromise a bit on some of the colors here. Maybe a color that I don't really care about too much. So that's... Uh, I might be able to change that. As long as I go back into the image there. And mess with my hair and things. Yeah, this would be okay. So we're going to use this as our spray paint. Hopefully it's big enough for all you guys to read. Hopefully I can fit it in there. So. Deluxe. Let's see if we can put paint right over here. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks pretty good. Deluxe paint there. And, uh... Let's see. We keep, keep the blue there. Well, actually, what I want to do is put some black back into my hair. Because we definitely messed up my hair a bit, so... Let's just put some lines in here, and we'll, we'll bring that hair back. Actually, let's, uh... Let's use the fill tool. Just, uh, oof. It might not be the greatest black. Let's, you know, do a lighter black. What's the fill tool trying to do? It's trying to do something weird on me. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's some more. Do that. There we go. I'll just take that blue out of my hair. These parts are not. So yeah, we got a fill tool. Fill tool's nice. And there we go. Looks much more natural now. So we take off the zoom. The only other spot we have here is maybe over here by the shirt. Turn that black. Now for the gaming memories and review thing. We're going to do that in a font because there's no way I can fit any more of my painting in here. I just can't do it, so... What else would I... I'd like a color that stands out in this. I kind of don't want to sacrifice any of their colors, though. Maybe this color, this weird uh, purplish color. If we can find this color in the palette, I wonder what color that is. Oh, wait, maybe I can't. Pick. Sweet. That changes that. And yeah, that's pretty much just that couple areas there. So we can make a new color for ourselves. And we can go back and we can fuck with it later. What color would we want this to be? I want it to be bold. I don't know, maybe a yellowish kind of thing? I don't know. I think... Oof. I'm going to definitely have to change my eyes there. And... <laughs> At least some things we're going to have to fill in, but I like that. I like yellow for the uh, font for this particular thing. I think it'll be nice to read. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick ELO. We're going to change that. We finally got most of the yellow out to where I'm happy. Now we're going to change. Do this font here and uh, let's see. Let's see how this looks. I don't let's see if we can manipulate this at all. Uh, what can we do with this gaming thing? Can we fuck with it at all? Can I turn it on its side? I think I can. 90 degrees? Is that going to do it? Yes. I want it the other way, though. Again. I like that. Put that there. Uh -uh. And there are probably easier ways to do all this shit, but, you know. The great thing about Deluxe Paint is that even, you know, somebody that doesn't know that much about the program, they can figure out ways to fuck with it, and they can have fun with it. So now we're gonna do. Uh. Memories. Nice. I like that a lot. Right there is about nice for me. Now, this is not a game, obviously. This is an application. It's a utility, so... Let's take... I'm going to lose my application thing, but eh, I want to get the X. I want to get an X in there first. Blue is as good as any, so we're going to just... Eh, I don't like that one. Let's put it way over here. There we go. Gaming... Kind of clip the R there. Yeah, so put a little X in there because it's not a game, but I'm not going to change the name to Application Memories and Review. I don't. This is all part of the same series for me because I have just as much fun with the applications as I do with the games. I think maybe there. Or up, I think up here probably somewhere. But where exactly? Eh, might be good. Right there. Application Memories and Review. Episode 1-9. We'll keep that in that one, but we'll make it smaller. I get my mustache. Down here. <laughs> that kind of makes it funny, but uh, I'll put it down there. Okay. I think we've got something right there. I think that's perfect the way it is. This will be my title card for the video. What do you guys think? Made in Deluxe Paint. Oh, I forgot some yellow back there. I don't want that ugly shit. Uh, let's make it some dark colors. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, uh, that's okay. Transfer this over to the PC. I'm going to have to do some other things, like... I'm going to have to resize it and scale it up so it'll still look good. You know, increased resolution. This is going to be in 4.3, so I'm going to have to do something... I, I kind of utilized all of the 4.3 here, so I can't exactly uh, crop it. So I'm going to have to put something to the left and right of it. But you'll see on the title card of what the final result is for this. This is just an example of the kind of stuff you can do. And I had more fun, I'm telling you, I had more fun making this. This t one title card in Deluxe Paint on the Amiga than I had making any of the other title cards on Modern... PCs. I made one on Windows 3.1. Most of them I use on modern paint programs, and I, I'm telling you, this is still like the most fun of any paint program. It's still the most accessible. It gives the user 
some powerful tools and they don't have to know all that much about it and they will be able to utilize it there's still a million things I haven't done that you can do and if you're very good with this stuff you will get some awesome effects I want to show you guys some other shit that I've done as a ham photo yes Here, here's the Amiga in ham mode. If you can get an IFF file with thousands of colors over to the Amiga, this would be somewhat ideal. The way the ham mode works is very technical. I made this just the other day, dicking around. It's just lots of colors together. <laughs> with the default palette and just sprinkling stuff. I, there's some of my... That's uh, my Picasso, I guess. <laughs> A high resolution photo in only 16 colors. It's actually very nice of the earth there. It gets definitely gets only 16 colors. Resolution definitely matters a lot when it comes to quality of pictures, more so than colors. Because you can put this picture in a 320 mode and it won't look and with 32 colors and it won't look nearly as good as it does in a 640 high resolution mode right here I made this for a girl this is pretty artistic I think for me yeah I like this one happy birthday Eve very nice this is probably the this is probably the best <laughs> I'll do in terms of art drawing so that's I did that a while ago as you can see I like the uh, spray paint tool <laughs> that's what I have fun with it's the only thing I can make my handwriting look okay with on, on this stuff I did mess with I did mess with this was my idea before kind of yeah I could put that put it like that I like my new one better. It looks beautiful. High resolution photo of Mars. God, I really should have these in NTSC mode. I hate showing 320 by 200 stuff in a widescreen format because I can't stand it when you guys do that. Huh. Doesn't, doesn't let me uh, do this really. I can do it in the in the personal paint, but it, deluxe paint doesn't seem to like me in the high resolution mode. With changing the colors, anyway. Anyway, you got you got more resolution. You have more room to do stuff. If I wanted to do my uh, gaming memories and reviews, I would have a lot more space with which to write. So it's, you got options. Sixteen colors is a for high resolution, just the 16 colors is good. It's a good option if you want to do that. Of course, you have other modes. I'm not interested. I'm really interested. The medium res is kind of like the uh, workbench resolution. It's a it's it's a very strange resolution. Again, you people that think that in in uh that the palm that that the the old games were meant to be in this widescreen mode people that think that like look at the weird resolutions the amiga had it had a medium res of 640 by 256 if you were to take a screenshot of the workbench which is what this mode is the workbench mode if you were to take a screenshot of that it would be like super duper wide we're talking like like that <laughs> It's it's crazy, and you and you people think that that's what it's meant to be. Like if you were to take an actual physical screenshot, it would look just nuts. That was, it was always meant to be you know condensed into this four by three screen, in both NTS three in NTSC three twenty by two hundred in the six forty by two hundred. Yeah, you know, these were meant to be. I think maybe six forty by four hundred. That's close enough to you know four by three but these modes like <laughs> they were always meant to be stretched down and it's not just NTSC 
low res 320 by 200 that was meant to be into 4.3, but it's also like the medium res, the workbench screen was always meant to go condensed. If you were to have a 640 by 256 screen, go ahead and look at that. Put that resolution and look how ridiculous it would look. Just saying. But this is Deluxe Paint. It's a beautiful program. It's still one of the best programs ever made. It's just, it's so many cool different things you can do with it. I haven't shown you half of what you can do. You can make animations. I don't really feel like messing with the animations right now. I used to do that as a kid. I would make animations, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of the over, a little bit of the fun you can have with this stuff. And you know, you guys really need to step away from just the games. The Amiga is a computer. It has so many different things you can do with it. You can have just as much fun messing around in deluxe paint as you can have playing any video game ever made for the Amiga. So, you guys have to get deluxe paint and just mess with it. And it's just it's a fun it's a fun program. This is Deluxe Paint 4. It's a great program. Definitely recommended. Because I'm not yeah, the most artistic person, it wouldn't look very good, especially using the mouse. So, if I just did memories, Oh, son of a bitch, I didn't want that to happen. Huh? Huh? Do brush. Right? Does that work? No. No, 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 no. Why are you doing this to me? Hope everyone enjoyed my first in-depth look at an application. Hope to do a lot more of these. I really do enjoy applications almost as much as games. Sometimes, like, Deluxe Paint is one of my favorites. I can always go back to it. It's always a fun time. And it's been superseded by, you know, obviously uh, Photoshop and others. And even on the Amiga, it was superseded by, uh, you know, Personal Paint bettered it. But uh, it's still, there's nothing as fun as Deluxe Paint to this day, honestly. And, uh, well, I... I hope to have more application videos for you in the future, but as for now, if you want to get, you know, kind of a look into applications, you take a look at my Amiga to PC transfer video, where I go into how to transfer files from the PC to the Amiga, and vice versa. So if you want to get your uh, deluxe paint pictures back onto the PC, you can watch that. That's one way to do it. And uh, I'll do my last two videos, which are Roger Rabbit, both on the Amiga and NES, a two-for-one there. Two different games, but uh, linked to my childhood. And Slam on uh, Windows 3.1, just a quick little uh, desktop game to pass the time. And uh, as always, if you enjoy this stuff, I hope you will hit subscribe. And I will talk to all of you later. Goodbye.